Marcus Conti reporting from Yellow, Yellow, from the Yellow Front in the United States. Peace to our people out in France, kicking some ass. <laughs> uh, it's going to be good, man. Yellow, Yellow, Yellow is coming to America. Coming to a theater near you, a park near you. So um, just to uh, continue that, Saturday, December 15, everybody says, pick a time, pick a time, pick a time. So December 15, high noon in a city near you. If you're in New York City, come join me. I'll be in Washington Square Park, New York City. I'll probably be wearing this very hat. So just a uh, little, I was watching this, uh, you, you saw this uh, this this exchange between um, Schumer, Pelosi, and uh, Pence kind of sat there dumbfounded, didn't really participate. But they were talking about the border wall, and and it just I just want to show you. I mean, the the most profound part of it is how indignant Nancy Pelosi became when Trump started to call her out on transparency. Right? They're having a vigorous discussion that interests the American people, which is the border wall, right? And Nancy Pelosi just goes out of her way to uh, to uh, insinuate that. This is not transparency. This is this is this is out of control, right? Just having a discussion with the president, with Schumer, in front of the press. She she so well, let's watch a little bit of this. It's pretty cool. And the experts say you can do border security without a wall, which is wasteful and doesn't solve the problem. It, it totally solves but the I problem. Want to take this. I, I, and it's very important. This is spiraled downward when we came at a place to say, how do we meet the needs of American people who have needs? The, the economy has, it's, uh, people are losing their jobs, the market's in a mood. Our members are already. Well, left we have the home. lowest unemployment that we've had in 50 years. 50 people of, of so, so now Nancy Pelosi says that people are losing their jobs, jobs, and the market's in a mood. Oh, really? I thought I thought everything is uh, fantastic. What happened? Now, now there's people losing their jobs. I thought uh, <laughs> it's fucking bullshit. Keep listening. That's not what I wanted to talk about. Uh, Conti, what'd you do? When the president brags that he won North Dakota and Indiana, he's in real trouble. When I, oh, I did. Let me say this. We did win North this. Dakota this and Indiana. This is the most unfortunate thing. We came in here in good faith, uh, and, and, and we're entering into a, a, this kind of a, a discussion in the public view. But it's not bad, let, Nancy. Let us, no, uh, no, it's called it's, transparency. Uh, I know. It's not transparency when we're not stipulating to a set of facts and when we wanted to have a debate with you about saying we confront some of those facts. You know what? We public. need border security. This That's what we're going to be talking about, border security. Now, now trend. Border security will shut down the government. Now this transparency is important to, to The wall is a part of border security. Let's have a talk. We're going to get the wall built, and we've done a lot of wall already. It's a big section. It's a big part of it. Is it everything that you need? It's a big part of it. We need Trump to just have keeps making the point. border security. We need a wall in certain parts. No, not in all parts, but in certain parts of a 2,000-mile border. We need a she wall. She says How one other you? fascinating uh, thing. We are doing it much under budget. We're actually way under budget on the areas that we've renovated and areas that we've built. Uh, I would say if we got if we got $5 billion, we could do a tremendous chunk of wall. Mr. President, are you going to accept less, though, and are your guests? Well, we're going to see. We're going to see. Well, this isn't a question. <laughs> this is a national emergency. Drugs are pouring into our country. People with tremendous medical difficulty and medical problems are pouring in, and in many, in many cases, it's contagious. They're pouring into our country. We have to have border security. We have to have a wall as part of border security. And I don't think we really disagree so much. I also know that, you know, Nancy is in a situation where it's not easy for her to talk right now. And I understand that. And I fully understand that. We're going to have a good discussion and we're going to see what happens. But we have to have border security. Mr. President, please don't characterize the strength that I bring to this meeting as a leader of the House Democrats who just won a big victory. Elections but have me, consequences, Mr. Just, President. Let me just say. That's right. And that's why the country is doing so well. But well, the president is representing in terms of his cards over there are not factual. We have to have an evidence-based conversation about what does work, 
what money has been spent and how effective it is. This is I, I find that the, the audacity of someone like Nancy Pelosi talking about evidence and talking about having an evidence-based discussion about anything, when her party steals elections, when her party you know, d dissol uh, d deletes classified information, when her party robs and cheats and steals and takes money from the big corporations and I think it's a there's a there's a sadness in watching that, right? I think it's a um, I think it's we're in a place where that is uh, irreparable, where Trump is going to argue for a wall, Schumer is going to give his crooked nose, look this you know lean down his crooked nose and and say you can't have your wall, and Pelosi's going to say that. We can't discuss things in front of the American people. Wow, how 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 foul would that be, right? So this is these are the people running your country. These are the people you're sitting around waiting, waiting for the big change to come, right? Fucking run them over, right? That's what the yellow that's what yellow movement is all about. See any any of the things that these people are talking about in that discussion, right? Trump gets his wall. Yeah, okay. So you you, you solve you solve some some immigration stuff, right? But you don't fix the economy. It doesn't, again, the, the American people inside of that wall you built are still, you know, scrounging for crumbs. They, they, they're, you know, they're on the ground trying to grab the crumbs. I'll say one thing about, I, I, I meant to say something about border wall the, the other day. And I watched a video and I, I never answered. I was like, historically, just, just, just something to think about. Historically, when walls are built in in times, in economic, you know, good times, right? People build walls, like the Wall of China. But those same walls, right, when when economies and tyranny, when tyranny rises and economies recede, those same walls are almost always used to keep people in, right? Do you ever think of that? That the, the wall you build to keep them out is the same wall that someday will keep you in? Now, wouldn't it be just? Wouldn't it be better to just to 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 eradicate this ridiculous system that they're they're talking about? They're talking about they're talking about wall, but where's the where's the talk about? I mean, Nancy Pelosi slipped and said people are losing their jobs, the market's in a mood, <laughs> whatever that means, right? Fuck their market. Their market has nothing to do. That's that's her money. She's worried about her money when she says market. She's not worried about your money. She's worried about her money, her hundred million dollars that she made. Right? So, I don't know. I thought that was, you know, that's classic cock block. Nancy Pelosi trying to, trying to, trying to, you know, run literally run away from transparency. I think that that's what that was the profound part of you know what we saw. So. Anyway, so get your get your yellow get your yellow revved up for for uh, this weekend Saturday. Let's do this, man. Let's do this. Get out, get out, get out, get out. Come out, come out wherever you are. You know, there's all this bullshit sitting around waiting for something to happen. Get out and meet people. Get out. It's not a violent movement. It's a it's a movement of of the people, right? In France, there's so huge numbers of people coming out. Let's see how many people we could get in, in cities all across the country, right? Seattle, Austin, you know, New York City, here we are, you know, fucking Cali. Let's go. Let's go. Get your yellow shirts on and tell people what it's about. It's about income and wealth equality once and for all. Overthrow the oligarchy. That's the one thing that we all agree on. We all agree on the corruption. We all agree on that. So let's put our differences aside. Let's put our differences aside, right? What we disagree on, because we all know what we disagree on. But, but the thing that we do agree on is that 99% of the country is controlled by a ruling class, a 1% minority that must go, that does not reciprocate, that does not, that, that these, co the corporations that are currently operating Within our borders are nothing but leeches. All they want to do is raise your tax and have them pay no tax and take the money and run. I mean, that's the fundamental problem in France is that 
They're trying to up and up and up the carbon tax on the people. And meanwhile, the corporation's doing it, you know, Exxon and fucking all, the, you know, all those companies don't pay any tax at all, right? They're p- trying to put the tax on you, right? That's what they're doing. Are you, your, your tax should be zero to 10%. That's it, right? And the corporation should be definitely over 60 to 80% in that area, right? So that the corporation is not a person. Don't feel sorry for the, oh, the corporation is the billionaire. No, the corporation is, is the corporation. The billionaires are the ones that are leeching and, and sucking the money out of the corporations. You have to tax the corporations and thereby you, you cut the billionaires down to size. Marcus Conti reporting.